father. The hour has come. What does every symbol in the Bible refer to? Signs of times. Signs means signals and indications, which are prior to Christ's second event, glory to him, as mentioned in the Bible. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. So those signs which Christ has mentioned are the events that occur all over the world and evidences for the elects about the coming of Christ's glory to him. All the world has noticed the occurrence of a lot of signs which are promised in the Bible. Concerning wars, the world has waged many wars and devastating conflicts which destroyed millions of lives of people on earth, such as the First and the Second World War, which killed about 50 millions of people, followed by other wars. Humanity has suffered torments and fascinates, until we witness the religions and doctrines wars, which devour the rest of people on our earth. Concerning earthquakes, they became confusing phenomena for people, when devastating ones had clearly spread. When statistics scored higher scores, it became a big challenge for humanity. Concerning governments and mighty regimes fall, we noticed that the world was astonished to the stupendous phenomenon named the Arab Spring, when many Arab governments were falling sequentially. For instance, the fall of Tunisia, Libya, Egypt, and Yemen, like domino pieces, one by one. About famines, we notice nowadays suffering from water and food shortage because of injustice, sage, persecutions of hardy governments, and bad distribution of wealth and money to poor countries. Concerning sicknesses and epidemics, we see the world full of deadly cancers and fevers, let alone the recent pandemic of COVID-19, which spread between people just like wildfire. Medicine stands helpless, though we live with scientific and technologic progress. Yet, they made science helpless to stop their danger that harvests millions of souls in different regions on our planet every day. It has been mentioned in the Bible about appearance of false Christs who claim as they represent Christ himself in his second event. Jesus Christ has said that within his gospel, for false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elects. This sign which Jesus has talked about has been achieved when we witnessed the appearance of false Christs who used magic, juggling, and misguidance to deceive naive people and make them stray the path of true kingdom and perspective advent. Babylon fall is also one of the most important signs which coincides with the second advent of Christ as mentioned in the Bible. The great city splits into three parts and the cities of the nation collapse. God remembered Babylon the great and gave her a cup filled with the wine of the fury of his wrath. We witnessed the fall of a great Babylon in front of our eyes in 2003, which refers to Baghdad. Great power in the world are working now to divide it into three countries. John has mentioned this in his Gospel. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, 
he had had great authority, and the earth was illuminated by his splendor. With a mighty voice, he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a dwelling for demons, and a hunt for every impure spirit, a hunt for every unclean bird, a hunt for every unclean and detestable animal. There are many other signs as to the end of times, such as small wooden fifth trumpet in John's revelation, which will eclipse light of sun and moon from the sight of humans, as Jesus said, immediately after the distress of these days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. It is the same sign mentioned in John's revelation, fifth trumpet. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it, like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and the sky were darkened as the smoke came out of the abyss. Long story short, signs are waiting the awaited human, the Savior Christ, just like the virgins waiting for their groom who slowed his coming. Thus, without those signs, it is impossible to know the time that God chooses to send his Savior back to save the world and the oppressed people from the injustice spread around the universe. Many of these signs have already appeared. He might be even living between us, watching God's kingdom, but we never know. Or his call might already be started, but we had not heard. And his disciples are blowing in the trumpet to make the elects hear Christ's voice. And as a result, they will undoubtedly know that their master is back, just like the sheep that recognize the voice of their shepherd. As Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me.